guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of trash talk i've started to film these videos once a month now and it's made me realize how much stuff i use up this bag is pretty full so um sit down grab a snack grab a cup of coffee i've actually got a drink myself here because this is going to need a lot of talking so without further ado let's get into the video so guys, if you're new here, Trash Talk is where I basically go through all of my beauty empties with you. I collect my trash throughout the month and I talk about it with you. Tell you which products I like, which I don't like, which I've purchased, which I've repurchased, all that good stuff. So if that's the kind of content that you like, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday at 7am London time. So let's get going. I'm just going to randomly just pick stuff out and see what we can end up with. CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for Normal to Dry Skin. Now, my skin isn't dry. It's not even normal. It's kind of oily combination. However, when it comes to a cleanser, I like something more hydrating these days. I do use now um, retinol. I use a lot of tea tree because my skin's a bit of a mess because of all the mask wearing and stuff like that. So in the evening or the morning when I use this as like a second cleanse or a first and second cleanse in the shower, I really like something hydrating. It's not going to dry my skin out before I even get my makeup and skincare down. It worked really well. This is my first time trying anything from CeraVe and it will not be my last. I've already repurchased this exact face wash. I've got a little sample size of a Kiehl's one on the go at the moment, but as soon as that is done, I'm dipping back into this. I absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend it. Boots have a lot of special deals on when it comes to CeraVe. I got this, it was 20% off, I think, or 25% off. I got it for £9. It's usually £12.50, so a really good saving there. Um, but yeah, I want to try their new hydrating serum. That's definitely something that's on my wish list. Oh, this one, I was kind of, I mean, and I whether to even show it to you because it's been discontinued. <laughs> but it's the Batiste Stylist Texturizing Spray. It comes in like a proper spray, like a hairspray. Batiste, obviously famous for its um, dry shampoos, of course. But this texturizing spray, it's magical. And I don't say that lightly. Um, they discontinued it about a year and a half ago. I managed to source um, some, when it was discontinued, Fragrance Direct had some for like two pounds a tin. I bought, I'm not exaggerating, I bought 20 tins of it. Um, as my hair got longer, I didn't use it as much. I gave a load to my mum because she has really short hair and she absolutely loved it. Um, but now my hair's shorter again and curly some days. I have it like this. Um, I will post my little video here of how I did my hair with my Aless um, hair curling wand. But after I've done this, I like to add this in to make my hair a bit gritty. I do the same thing when my hair's even straight, when it's been washed and I put this in just to kind of give my layers a little bit more definition. It goes on like a dry hairspray, but it just gives your hair that grit. Every other texturizing spray that I have used, like Beach Waves and stuff, makes my hair matted, it makes it sticky. This is brilliant. Um, and I really, really, really wish that Batiste would bring it back because I, when I've got, I've got three tins of this left, when this runs out, I will not know what to do with myself. I have found a dupe, but it's really expensive for what it is, which is annoying. And it's the way, uh, O-U-A-I, I'll post it here, um, the way texturizing spray and hairspray in one bottle. It's £22 for a bottle. This app full price was £4.95 so yeah it's a lot but um once that runs out I may not have a choice but that's the best one that I've found that is a kind of dupe for the Batiste. For the eagle-eyed among you I have a um colour changing nail polish on so if my nails just change colour randomly um I'll post it below it's a Nails Ink thermal polish uh, they go between like purpley lilac and white so yeah, your, your eyes are not deceiving you. Um, next up, we have the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Reconstructor Deep Treatment. This stuff is a must in my shower. I don't know if it's the same with you. 
let me know below. I love my Philip Kingsley. I love all my really nice hair products. I love a good mask. But when it comes to you just want a quick in shower, three minute, you haven't got time to mess around, this is the one I go for. I have used this for probably around 20 odd years and it's never far from my collection. I don't say I have it all the time in my shower. I do vary from ones, um, I do have another one on the go at the moment I've just started, which isn't an Aussie one. But every now and again, I just walk past the Aussie stand in Superdrug or Boots and they have those three for two or two for 10 pounds is the big one. I'll always pick up two of these because they're brilliant and the smell. It's just that Aussie smell. I don't even know what it is, but when you smell it, you just know that, that smell is going to make your hair really good. Cannot fault that at all. And talking of really good smells, this is the uh, Percy and Reed Body Wash. Now, this I'm upset about as well because this has been discontinued. I'm just being really mean to you today and showing you all this great stuff that you can't have. But this one, I, I bought it on QVC probably, no, three, four years ago. And I bought it because it's the same scent as the Percy and Reed shampoos and conditioners. And if you know that smell, you know exactly. Oh, it's just like Lily of the Valley. It's like the cleanest, most like botanically kind of smell. And it is a body wash. They are a hair care brand. They gave it a go. It didn't work out for them and they discontinued it. But like with the Batiste, when they discontinued it, they had a sale on it, 30% sale, and I bought like 10 of these. Um, so I've got about two left and I love it. There, it's only 100 mil, so this size lasts me like a week and a half, but it's really good. And I don't need to use a moisturizer after I use it. It is heavenly hydrating, it's really great. I love it. I really wish it had worked out because it's a great scent, but sadly it wasn't meant to be oh another one percy and reed extra hold hairspray um this isn't even empty you can hear that there's quite a bit left there's this much left um for some reason it suddenly got a mind of its own when i ugh, oh my god look okay yeah it leaked um basically i was going to say oh that wasn't meant to happen oh god close that back up um so i stopped using this because when i sprayed it um it just wouldn't stop spraying. It had a mind of its own. And I was like, okay, oh, uh, I don't quite know what to do here. So I just binned it. But yeah, I mean, if you can see, look, see if I can do that again. It's gone absolutely gross and all gluey and stuff. And I didn't, um, I didn't leave it for ages. I use it consistently because I use it to spray up the back of my hair when I put my hair in a high bun. And yeah, I, I didn't like leave it for ages. I used to use it when I, um, Put my hair up in a high bun which i can still do and i spray the back of my hair so it doesn't fall down i will link that video here for you but yeah um i'm really disappointed with that i've used percy and reed hairsprays for years that's never happened before it won't stop me from buying it i'll definitely get another one um at some point i usually get them from tk maxx because they're quite cheap but because tk maxx the queues are ridiculous right now so i'm trying to get a random hairspray from um sainsbury's or tesco or somewhere just like a whatever brand i'm not bothered but yeah i really liked it but this one was a bit of a dud so right what's next oh, i cheated and looked um this is the righteous butter by soap and glory a staple in most ladies from the uk uh bathrooms i'm pretty sure this smell is just so brilliant i love soap and glory i've had this in my collection to use up in my kind of project pan for about a year and I always saved them until like winter, but I was getting quite conscious that I'd kept pushing it back and hadn't used it and I didn't want it to go off. So I just used it. And I always forget with the Righteous Butter, I don't usually do body butters, but this came in a kit at Christmas. If you know Soap and Glory, you know they do those big kits and you get like loads of money off and stuff. And there's always a full size Righteous Butter in there. And the Righteous Butter is a body butter, but it's not, let me show the consistency. It's not very thick. So it goes on and it just sinks right in. Whereas some body butters can be really heavy and you have to kind of keep, you know, more, um, sort of uh, massaging it in for ages. The, this is brilliant. I always forget how um, how thin it is. But you can use it in spring and summer. I usually save body butters for winter if I use them. 
Um, as you know, a big long story with the body butters, I used to use the body shop ones. Then they bought out the body yogurts and it's just a much nicer consistency. It's a lot thinner um, and it's got the same moisturizing hit as a body butter. So I just go for the yogurts. Um, at the moment, I haven't got any because I'm sort of working through what I've got from Elemis, which came in TSVs and stuff. But um, the Righteous Butter, I always forget how great it is, but I've never actually gone out and bought one. I know it sounds stupid, but they always come in a kit. I never think, oh, I need a moisturiser. I'm going to buy the Righteous Butter. So would I repurchase it? No, but I know that I'm going to get it again in a kit. When I use it, I'll be like, oh, I love this stuff. But it's a body lotion, so I'm not like ridiculously loyal but you know speaking of loyalty uh here we go we've got the elemis pro collagen cleansing balm and this is the uh, 50 gram size of the original oh the original spa scent there is nothing to show you here this is literally empty i've scraped every little bit out of it but the elemis cleansing balm if you don't know where have you been um I use it every evening. I'll link my skincare routine somewhere here. This stuff is magical as a second cleanse. Some people use it as a first cleanse. That's fine. I always take my makeup off with a wipe just to get the bulk and the crap off of that first layer of skin. Once that initial load is taken off, I then use this and I really massage it in, really go to town and I, I take it off with a hot cloth. And honestly, that minute where you put it in your hands and you just breathe it in before you apply it to your skin, it's like all your day's stress and everything just goes out and all you focus on is massaging this in. You just concentrate on what you're doing and the smell, the aromatics are amazing. And this is the original scent. If you've been to an Elemis spa, if you haven't, I highly recommend you do. But if you know, you know. That's what I'm going to say about that. What's now? I keep looking. I shouldn't look. Elemis, um, the Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff, again, weird. You can buy Micellar Water anyway. You can get the Garnier Micellar Water. You can get the Bioderma that started the whole thing. I've tried both of those. This one is brilliant. I don't know why I love it so much, but I cannot be without it in my collection. When this got to about here, I bought another one. Um, and they're just excellent. And I use this as a kind of, as a toner or as like a, to make sure that every bit of my makeup is removed. I don't use it every day, but when I do use it, I love it for my waterproof mascara. It's the best thing ever. For tubing mascara, it's the best thing ever. Um, it just makes my skin feel really refreshed and my skin just reacts really well to it. And it says here, Defined by nature, led by science, this refreshing and clarifying micellar water effectively cleanses the skin, removing makeup and the daily buildup of skin pollutants. Cleansing micelles are enhanced with a complex of natural surfactants surf <laughs> derived from apple amino acids, rose hip seed oil and Indian soap nut to lift impurities from the skin, organic English rose water and soothing antioxidant rich chamomile gently cleanse while the natural moisture barrier is maintained. I mean, does that sound great or what? I got this in a TSV about a billion years ago and I have repurchased it ever since. This is my second or third repurchase of this product alone. Now, little inside tip, they do sell it on QVC and it's 26.50, it's a lot. I always get them at like eight or nine pounds roughly. So I don't know why I'm doing that for. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's not a big horrific secret, but you know, some people are a bit anti eBay. And I'm a very, I'm a big massive supporter of Elemis, and I will buy from Elemis and QVC as and when I can. But when something's that cheap, I have to go to eBay. I'm sorry if you can hear that. My neighbours are having a party or something. There's lots of loud music on. So if you can catch that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Elemis, again, this is just like, I swear this is, there isn't that much Elemis in here. Um, this is the British Botanical Hand and Nail Butter. I've been using this for about pff, two or three months and I leave it on the side here. This is where I sort of sit to watch TV and I have like a little nail station. So when I go and wash my hands, I always use hand cream, always have, always will. It's just a weird thing that I have to do. 
And um, I really like this one. The hand and nail butters from Elemis are great. I wouldn't buy them on their own necessarily because they are really expensive for what they are. You can get some really good hand creams. The Vaseline one, for example, is amazing and it's like three quid. These, I have no idea how much this is for price on its own. If you bought it alone, probably about 15 pounds, which to me is a bit crazy. But the British botanical smell, I love. And when I get them in a QVC kit, they're always very welcome to my collection. But I'm not going to say, you need this, it's the best hand cream ever, because that's just not true. But I do love it. Uh, next up is the ooh, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. These are still bits from my um, advent calendar that I got at Christmas by the Kiehl's advent calendar. And this is a really decent size. This is a 28 ml um, moisturiser. And I have used this before. I have got a sample size before. I have purchased it before. I have used this one up. It's not something I need in my collection because I love my Elemis um, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I love it. Nothing will stop me using that. As long as I can still get it from QVC at an amazing price, I will continue to do so. But this one I love and it just does something to my skin that my skin really enjoys. And it says here, 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein. Um, our unique fast absorbing cream provides water replenishment throughout the day by absorbing moisture from the air for continuous comfort and moisture balanced skin. This is ultra hydrator. This ultra hydrator helps too, and then it cuts off. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's great and I really love it. Like I said, I won't necessarily rush out and buy it now that I've finished this one, but I did really enjoy using it. And um, would I get it again? Probably. Uh, it's one of those things that if I'm on the Kiehl's website and I need to make up money for free delivery or like an amazing load of free gifts, this is what I go for. It's not that expensive. I'll link everything down below, but I think this is about £19 for the full, full size. This size, I have no idea. This is a sample size. 28 mil though, it's a really decent sample. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I have another Kiehl's thing in here actually, so I'm just gonna grab that now. This is the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This, this, I'm gonna say it, is the best eye cream I have ever used. I'm going to say it. I've This morning, just now, today, my full size came in the post um, I bought from Selfridges because I didn't need anything else from the Kiehl's website. Um, and this stuff, there's not, there's not a scrap left in here, but it is really heavy. It's an eye cream, treatment cream and it's a thick cream that has two uses. You can use it under your eyes, obviously, as a night cream, which is what I do, or you can pile it on and leave it as a treatment for 20 minutes and then rub it in, or just leave it overnight if you want a thick layer of it, or you can remove it, whatever you want to do. But honestly, my under eyes have never been so hydrated, and at this point in my life, in the evenings, I feel like I need a thicker eye cream, but my eyes are really sensitive. They water quite a lot. And if I put an eye cream on that's too heavy, I tend to get very watery. This stuff is brilliant. And um, let me read this. This creamy preparation with avocado oil gently moisturizes the delicate under eye area. Our unique concentrated texture does not migrate into your eyes, tested under ophthalmologist and dermatology control. Now, I got this, this is from my advent calendar also. This was a 14 mil size. I bought the 28 mil size now, which is this size, and this size was 41 pounds. This lasted me, what are we now, May? I used this, opened this in December, obviously. Um, so it's lasted me six months, this size. I'd say five and a half months, because I don't know what point in December I opened the, the calendar with this in it. But I've used this every single night for the last five and a half months. Um, so the 28 mil, the double the size, should technically last me a year. We'll see. But yeah, can't praise it highly enough. Absolutely love Kiehl's. Love this eye cream. We'll use it forever. Are you still with me? Are you? Good. 
<laughs> beauty blender. Um, when your beauty blender starts to look a bit like this, it needs to go in the bin. I don't know if you can see this. I really hope you can. So I love my beauty blender. Ooh, it's got hair in it. I love my beauty blenders. I did clean this before I showed it to you because it was disgusting. And I wash them every other day that I use it. I use them every day without fail. My top tip, because they are 20 pounds each, and it's a sponge. You think it's a makeup sponge, 20 pound is ridiculous. No, it's not. Nothing will give you makeup coverage and natural looking foundation than this little sponge. I've tried the cheaper versions in the hope that something will be as good and I just wasted my money. These are the best ones ever. But what I do is I wait until Black Friday and I go to the Space NK website, the Cult Beauty website, and they always have little kits and after Christmas as well, they have Christmas kits. So this one that I'm using now had two beauty blenders in it and the cleanser at the bottom. Remember my favorites video, the cleanser is amazing, it's insane. I got those for like 18 pounds. So two beauty blenders and a cleanser. The cleanser is usually 25 pounds and each one of these is 20 pounds each. So, you know, bargain. I just stock up. So every time there's a Black Friday deal on or a Christmas deal, I buy two of them and that does me for the whole year. So I might spend 40 pounds and get four beauty blenders, two cleansers, I'm done for the year. I will never stop using the beauty blender. It's the best thing ever. I've been using these now for about four or five years. But um, one typically lasts me three months, and that's cleaning it twice, three, three times a week, something like that with the cleanser. But yeah, love it. Best little beauty invention ever, in my opinion. One of the best beauty tools I have ever purchased. This one's sad for me. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Nail Polish in the shade no idea it just says oh exquisite uh, scarlet 408 this one is my exclusive toe color there is there's like this much left but you can't get it out anymore and the reason i love it is the brush is really wide and it's quite long as you can see that and um it's just really good for doing my toenails I, I just love it and it's a stupid thing um because i have a million nail polishes and I rarely use up nail polish all the way to the bottom, except for top coats and base coats. But yeah, this one is gone. And it was my toe color for about three years. So yeah, sad to see it though. What's this? Ah, oh, this is the Garnier Hand Repair Intensive Restoring Hand Cream. I hated this. So much so, that it's not even empty. There's probably about this much left, but I can't bring myself to use it. And I'll tell you why. Um, I got this in a kit from Boots. They did a special bundle where it was £10 for this, a full-size body lotion, a hair mask, and one or two other bits. And it was a really good deal. And it was in their Boots £10 Tuesdays, or a little bundle. I'm always using hand creams. So I'm like, oh, I love Garnier. I'll use that. This stuff, and it's for extra dry skin, which I did have at the point in the pandemic that I bought this, um... It was a, um, uh, it was, we were using sanitizer all the time and your hands just got gross. Now this, it's like an emollient. So you put it on like that, which is fine, goes in, all good. And then when you touch something afterwards, it leaves like a film on what you touch. So let me try and demonstrate on my jumper. Because you may have noticed by now, guys, that all I wear is black. I don't wear any other colours, I only wear black. That isn't, it is on purpose. Um... Can you see that kind of white cast there? And I've just applied it. But no matter how long you leave it, you get a white cast and everything. I've got black jeans on. I've got black tops on. I wear black all the time. It's really, really irritating. And the hand cream itself isn't even that good. It's not even that moisturising. Like I can feel it now. It leaves a kind of dry, weird texture on your skin i don't like it it's just ugh, it makes me feel funny i had so many hand creams from like elemis kits and like the nail butters and stuff i just ditched it i thought you know what i got it in a kit i didn't pay full price for it i'm not bothered i just want to get it out of my sight because it's frankly doing my head <laughs> now we're on to like makeup and stuff which is quite fun this is a bit of a weird one because i rarely have perfumes to show you but this is the aqua de Gioa by giorgio armani it's a little like 
travel size. For Christmas, I got a kit of like one, two, three, four uh, Armani perfumes. So one had Armani C, one had Armani Passionale, this one and I'm in love or in love with you or something. And this one was really nice. It's really fresh and it's really watery, a bit like cool water, but it lasted on the skin about 10 minutes. Like literally, I put it on and then walked to work. My walk to work is 20 minutes. And by the time I got to work, it was gone. I couldn't smell it. I was like, oh, that's not very good. Um, so I no, I didn't like that. I wouldn't use that again. End of discussion. Next. This is the uh, Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer by Hourglass. I really liked this. Um, as you can see, not much left to show you. It was quite orangey for my skin. Um, it's really difficult with the Hourglass bronzers. I've never quite struck the right balance. I got the diffused light one, which was way too cool toned for me. It made me look a bit dead. It was kind of like crematorium chic. Uh, this one was a bit too orangey, made me look a bit too tantastic. Um, this is the Radiant Bronze Light. And there's one called Nude Bronze Light, but that looks too light. So I'm kind of, I love Hourglass and I love the Hourglass ambient lighting powder mixed in with the bronzer, kind of give you that shimmer, that glow, that health. But quite frankly, I don't want to spend another £49 making a wrong decision because these things last a really long time as well. I mean, I literally got my eyeshadow brushes in the corners to use these as like transition shades in my eyeshadows and stuff like that. I've used every single, I've had every penny's worth out of this. I mean, literally look at that pattern, like there is nothing left there. But um, yeah, I wouldn't get that one again. I'm not saying I would never get another hourglass bronzer again, but just beware if you are my kind of skin tone or even lighter, they're hard to match. Like they're, they're very pigmented. So you don't need a lot, which is great, but I've just never found that right balance for me. It's just not worked. Speaking of which, Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara in Ultra Black. This is the one that they bought out last year that had, oh, it's got a bit gross, that had all of that um, publicity, Rosie Huntington Whiteley um, got involved. And yeah, I've had this on the go since May last, no, since October last year, sorry. So I've been using this for six months. They say you should only use mascara for three months, but if it's still there and it smells okay and it applies okay, I will use it until it's empty. This is 100% empty, um, but something about it, I found out after using it for a while, it was a tubing mascara. If you don't know what that is, because I did not, basically this has like fibers in the mascara. So you apply it and it does give you that lovely fluttery false lash look but then when you go to take it off it comes off like glue like it tubes up and you can pull it off and the only reason i found out about this is by watching davina mccall's youtube channel because she purposely uses tubing mascara because all she does is she gets her micellar water puts it on her eyes and then pulls it off to avoid rubbing it off which is a good idea and then i was like ah okay i like that but one major problem with this, for me, with tubing mascara, this is the only one I've tried, but the problem I had, I wear contact lenses. Because this comes off in kind of stringy bits, if you don't apply it properly, or you apply it after you've got your, mas or your lenses in, sorry, and you apply it, sometimes it can break off and go in your eye, and it got behind my lens one day, and it made my eyes really itchy, and it was disgusting. That's happened a few times with this. So I'm gonna say for me, no, but I love the effect of this mascara. It's 29 pounds, which is a lot. It did last me six months, which is great. Um, and I do feel that after using quite a few high-end mascaras, you do get your money's worth, especially if you have rubbish lashes like me. But this one for me was a no. We're nearly there. Are you with me? Are you still here? Are you? Good. Um, Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I do my own nails and I'm quite proud of this. Let me show you. I did them yesterday. They are pretty good, I would say. 
I think they're kind of salon good. I did used to work for Nail Zing, so I have a lot of insider knowledge. And the girls I used to work with who are manicurists, I learned a lot of tricks from them. But the one trick I will tell you is this stuff, just it, the cuticle is the part of the nail polish. It makes your manicure look professional. If your cuticles are tidy and cut down and all of that good stuff, then your manicure will look great. This, you put it on your cuticles, leave it for 30 seconds and you just sort of use like the little silver hoofy thing or you sort of go underneath the cuticle to get rid of all the dead skin and crap that you know gets there push your cuticles back then you're good to go I will at some point film how I do my nails it's a bit of a logistical nightmare because I have the big tripod now I have the tripod I can put my phone there and I can film it but I have to see what I'm doing. So I need a couple of practice runs. So I am going to work on it. I've been asked for that video countless times, but until that time, get some of this, try it and um, thank me later because it's a brilliant, brilliant product. Uh, Olaplex number three, Hair Perfector. Um, if you didn't see my Olaplex versus Philip Kingsley video, I will link it somewhere here. This is the... Um, pre-shampoo treatment, sim I say similar to the elasticizer because it works the same way. You put this on damp hair for 10 to 15 minutes before you wash your hair and it's meant to um, help strengthen the bonds of your hair. I liked it, it was okay, I prefer the elasticizer. So on that basis, I will not use this or buy this again. Again, I'll link the video for the whole review so you can see that. Because this has been a long video, so I don't want to waste any more time on it. But for me, that was not as good as the elasticizer. Uh, this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. Oh, I love this stuff. I got, thankfully, I've got a couple of full sizes of this in the last kit that I bought from QVC. Um, and it's just a clear gel that you put on under your eyes and it's a hyaluronic acid and sea algae mask you leave it on you don't have to take it off so you leave it on all night long you can put it underneath makeup they said you can put it over makeup i tested that theory and i wouldn't recommend it it did move all of my makeup off as i thought it would um i just literally patted it on top but it broke away all of the foundation I had under my eyes. I don't usually wear, a, I don't wear a lot of foundation, like, you know, my makeup, you can see I'm wearing it, but it's not piled on. But yeah, it did break it down and it just, it didn't look good. And I, I, I used this at work on the day that I wore a mask a lot. You know, when you have the mask line here and you breathe up, it really makes my under eyes really, really dry. Hence why that avocado eye mask is so great from Kiehl's because it's just replenished all that moisture that I lose from breathing in and out wearing that bloody mask all day. But this I love and I usually use this on top of the Kiehl's um, or on top of my eye cream when I go to bed. I sort of mix it up if I don't use the Kiehl's one. So it's become part of my routine at night and I really like it. There we go guys, we made it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy doing empties and I really enjoy watching empties video from the people that I follow because I feel like once you use something up the whole way, you can give a really detailed review on it and you can be honest and say whether you'd buy it again or not. Because some things you use all the way to the bottom and you think, oh my God, how am I ever gonna live without this? I need to buy it immediately. And some things at the very beginning, once you first use it, it might be on your monthly favourites. You'd be like, oh, I love this thing, it's amazing. And then you get to halfway through, get to the end of it and go, yeah, I really liked it, but it wasn't as good as this or that or what have you. So, um, yeah, I, I really love empties videos. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching. And um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I post videos on a, th a Tuesday and a Friday at 7 a.m. London time. So they're usually beauty related videos, growing up my grey ha gray hair videos, or some luxury items. Uh, so yeah, come and join me and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, thank you.